Friendship is one mind in two bodies. The great man is he who does not lose his child's heart. Only when there are things a man will not do is he capable of doing great things. The way of truth is like a great road. It is not difficult to know it. The evil is only that men will not seek it. Filling with food, warming with clothes, living leisurely, without learning, it is little short of animals. Integrity, wisdom, skill, intelligence, such things are forged in adversity. People are distressed by their inability to do it. The problem, however, is simply that they don't do it. So it is that whenever heaven invests a person with great responsibilities, it first tries his resolve, exhausts his muscles and bones, starves his body, leaves him destitute, and confound his every endeavor. In this way, his patience and endurance are developed and his weaknesses are overcome. We change and grow only when we make mistakes. We realize what to do only when we work through worry and confusion. And we gain people's trust and understanding only when our inner thoughts are revealed clearly in our faces and words. A man must not be without shame for the shame of being. Without shame is shamelessness indeed. There's only one way to know if people are good or evil. Look at the choices they make. We each contain precious and worthless, great and small. Never injure the great for the sake of the small, or the precious for the sake of the worthless. Small people nurture what is small in them. Great people nurture what is great in them. A great man is he who has not lost the heart of a child. Don't do what should not be done, and don't desire what should not be desired. Abide by this one precept, and everything else will follow. Sincerity is the way to heaven. Make your learning abundant and speak of it with precision, then you will speak of essentials. I understand what lies hidden beneath beguiling words. I understand the trap beneath extravagant words. I understand the deceit beneath depraved words, and I understand the weariness beneath evasive words. All beneath heaven is rooted in nation. Nation is rooted in family, and family is rooted in self. For nurturing the mind, there's nothing like pairing your desires away to a very few. If you have few desires, there may still be some capricious whims in your mind, but they'll be few. If you have many desires, there may be some enduring principles in your mind, but they'll be few indeed. Treat others as you would be treated. Devote yourself to that, for there's no more direct approach to humanity. Words that defy reality are ominous, and it's ominous reality that confronts those who would obscure the wise and worthy. All the children who are held and loved will know how to love others. Spread these virtues in the world. Nothing more need be done. Getting something done is like 
Digging a well. You can dig a well 70 feet deep, but if you don't hit water, it's just an abandoned well. Great is a man who has not lost his childlike heart. Friends are the siblings God never gave us. I am not fond of disputation. I have no alternative. There are people dying from famine on the roads, and you do not issue the stores of your granaries for them. When people die, you say, it is not owing to me, it is owing to the year. In what does this differ from stabbing a man and killing him, and then saying, it was not I, it was a weapon. It's simple to say anything about the nature of things. You must attend to the facts, facts in their original form. The trouble with knowledge is that it keeps chiseling things away. All tongues savor the same flavors, all ears hear the same music, and all eyes see the same beauty. The great man is he who does not lose his child's heart. When men are subdued by force, they do not submit in their minds, but only because their strength is inadequate. When men are subdued by power and personality, they are pleased to their very heart's core and do really submit. The great man does not think beforehand of his words that they may be sincere, nor of his actions that they may be resolute. He simply speaks and does what is right. We live not as we wish to, but as we can. There are things a person wants more than life and there are also things he or she loathes more than death. If someone stops where they should not, they'll stop anywhere. If someone slights a person, they should treat generously, they'll slight anyone. And if someone races ahead, they retreat in a hurry. When someone dies, you say, it wasn't me, it was due to the harvest. How is this different from killing someone by stabbing him and saying, it wasn't me, it was due to the weapon? If your majesty does not blame the harvest, then the people of the world will come to you. When people put profit before righteousness, they cannot be satisfied without grasping for more. Trying to meet a worthy man in the wrong way is as bad as closing the door on an invited guest. The king was standing by the pond, gazing at the geese and deer, and said, Do the worthy also delight in these things? Mengzi replied, Only the worthy delight in these things. Those who are not worthy, even if they have these things, do not delight in them.